Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjalaya Mal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subjects Operation Research. This is lecture number 3 in the inventory model. We are going to continue with the discussion on the deterministic model. This is model number 3. We are going to solve the model and uh, solve problems in the model number 3. The learning outcome to the students at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to solve problem in the deterministic inventory model. Model number 3, the various assumptions for the model number 3. Now, here shortages are permitted. So, in the earlier two model, the shortages were not permitted. So, here shortages are permitted. Demand rate is uniform. Production rate is infinite. So, production rate is infinite means when you place the order, you will raise the stock immediately. And this is the diagrammatic representation of the model and the O is the origin, total time is T for the first one cycle and for during this time T, Q is the stock level consumed for the entire time. The time, I mean the stock level IM is the initial inventory level, IM is the initial inventory level and the initial inventory level is consumed at the rate of R. So, the rate of consumption, the demand rate is uniform R at the rate of R it is consumed. At the end of the time T1 B, the stock IM exhausted, then there is a shortage. So, the shortage continues up to the point C during the time T2. So, once you reach the point D, the time T2, end of the time T2, you place the order, immediately the stock level raises to Q. So, again the second cycle starts. So, from the diagram, so T1 equal to IM T divided by Q and T2 equal to Q minus IM by Q into T. IM is the initial inventory level. And the inventory holding cost, so the holding cost equal to area OAB. So, area OAB into holding cost per unit. Then this equal to area of the triangle OAB equal to IM. 1 by 2 IM into T1, half into IM, height of the triangle into T1 is the base length of the triangle, IM, 1 by 2 IM into T1 into C1 is the cost. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 IM into C1, substituting for T1 from here, this is IM T divided by Q, which is equal to 1 by 2 C1 IM square T divided by Q. So, the inventory holding cost equal to 1 by 2 C1 IM square T divided by Q. Then the shortage cost is equal to area of this triangle, area of the triangle BCD into the half, actually area of the triangle equal to half into Q minus IM into T2, this is the area of the triangle. So, the base length is T2, height equal to Q minus IM. So, the height of this triangle equal to Q minus IM and the base length equal to T2. Now, this uh, area of the triangle 1 by 2 Q minus IM into T2 into C2 is the cost, unit cost, shortage cost per unit is equal to 1 by 2 C2 into Q minus IM, substituting for T2 from the earlier definition, T2 equal to Q minus IM by Q into T, substituting here Q minus IM T divided by Q. So, this will be 1 by 2 C2 into Q minus IM whole square into T divided by Q. So, the setup cost is C3 and the, the total cost equal to holding cost plus shortage cost plus setup cost. So, substituting C equal to 1 by 2 C1 into IM square T divided by Q plus 1 by 2 C2 into Q minus IM whole square into T divided by Q plus C3. The average cost dividing by the time, so previous equation dividing by the time, C equal to 1 by 2 C1 IM square by Q plus 1 by 2 C2 into Q minus IM whole square by Q plus C3 by T. So, T is the time. Now, substituting P equal to Q by R. So, the final e finally, the cost equation, in it, it is in terms of IM and Q. So, C equal to 1 by 2 C1 IM square by Q plus 1 by 2 C2 into Q minus IM whole square by Q plus C3 R by Q. Now, this equation. So, further we modify 1 by 2 C1 IM square Q plus 1 by 2 C2, 1 by 2 C2 into Q square plus IM square minus 2 Q IM divided by Q. So, expanding. Q minus IM whole square plus C3 Q, C3 R by Q. Combining the terms 1 by 2 C1 IM square by Q plus 1 by 2 C2 Q 
expanding this term 1 by 2 c q actually q square by q equal to 1 by 2 c 2 q plus 1 by 2 c 2 i m square by q minus 1 by 2 2 is cancelled c 2 into q is cancelled c 2 minus c 2 into i m plus c 3 r by q. So, again combining the i m square term together 1 by 2 i m square into q c 1 plus c 2 plus 1 by 2 c 2 q minus c 2 i m plus c 3 r divided by q. Now, this is the cost equation, final form of the cost equation. Now, the optimum stock level obtained by partially differentiating this equation with respect to q and i m and equal to 0. When you differentiate with respect to q, that will give the optimum stock level and when you differentiate with respect to i m, that will give the optimum, the initial inventory level. So, the equation once again it is written c in terms of i m and q 1 by 2 i m square q plus c 1 plus c 2 plus 1 by 2 c 2 q minus c 2 i m plus c 3 r by q. So, differentiating with respect to i m and equating to 0. So, dou c by dou i m equal to c 1 plus c 2 divided by 2 q into 2 i m minus c 2 equal to 0. So, the from this equation i m equal to c 2 q divided by c 1 plus c 2. So, i m this is the value of i m. Then differentiating with respect to q and equating to 0. So, dou c by dou q equal to i m square. So, differentiating i m square into c 1 plus c 2 differentiating q it is minus 1 by q square plus 1 by 2 c 2 differentiating q equal to 1. This term is 0 there is it is constant it becomes 0 plus c 3 r divided by differentiating 1 by q it is minus 1 by q square equal to 0. Then combining the terms combining the 1 minus 1 by q square term minus 1 by q square into i m square c 1 plus c 2 divided by 2 plus c 3 r multi plus 1 by 2 c 2 equal to 0. So, this becomes minus i m square by q square c 1 plus c 2 by 2 minus c 3 by r c 3 r by q square plus 1 by 2 c 2 equal to 0. Now, substituting the i m value from the previous equation in this equation will get the optimum value of q. So, the optimum value of q minus i m square by q c 1 plus c 2 divided by 2 minus c 3 r by q square plus 1 by 2 c 2 equal to 0. Substituting for i m square this will be minus 1 by 2 c 2 so 1 minus c 1 plus c 2 divided by 2 q square i m square equal to c, c 2 square q square by c 1 plus c 2 whole square minus c 3 by r q square plus 1 by 2 c 2 equal to 0. And here q square is cancelled 1 c 1 plus c 2 is cancelled this will become minus c 2 square by 2 into c 1 plus c 2 minus c 3 r by q square plus 1 by 2 c 2 equal to 0. Now, here uh, we have come we actually we, uh, we take the uh, the two terms to the right side rearrange the terms uh, minus minus c 2 square by 2 into c 1 plus c 2 plus 1 by 2 c 2 equal to c 3 r by q square. So, I take the second term to the right, right side. Now, combining these two. So, 2 times of c 1 plus c 2 take a common denominator minus c 2 square plus c 1 c 2 minus c 2 square this plus c 2 square equal to c 3 r by q square. So, minus c 2 square plus c 2 square getting cancelled and this will be equal to c 1 c 2 divided by 2 times of c 1 plus c 2 equal to c 3 r by q square. So, rearranging q square equal to c 1 c 2 by c 1 plus c 2 divided by c 2 into 2 c 3 r by c 1. So, q o equal to square root of c 1 plus c 2 divided by c 2 into 2 c 3 r by c 1. And the optimum value of i m, i m equal to c 2 q divided by c 1 plus c 2, which is c 2 by c 1 plus c 2 is square root of c 1 plus c 2 divided by c 2 into 2 c 3 r by c 1. You take the c 2 by c 1 plus c 2 into the square root, this becomes c 2 by c 1 plus c 2 into 2 c 3 r divided by c 1, i m o, optimum level of i m. Then substituting the q 1 i m o in the cost equation, the optimum cost will become c equal to c 2 by square root of c 2 by c 1 plus c 2 into 2 c 1 c 3 r, where c 1 is the setup uh, holding cost, c 2 is the shortage cost, c 3 is the holding cost and r is the demand rate. Optimum time interval between the orders T o equal to Q o by r which is 1 by r into square root of um, C 1 plus C 2 divided by C 2 into 2 C 3 r by C 1 
uh, equal to C1 plus C2 divided by C2 into 2 C3 by C1 R. So, T O equal to Q O by R. And we take one example, example number 7. The demand rate of an item is uniform at a rate of 20 units per month. The fixed cost is rupees 10 each time a production run is made. The production cost is rupees 1 per item and the inventory carrying cost is rupees 0.25 per item per month. The shortage cost is rupees 1.25 per item per month. Determine how often to make the production run and what is what what is the what is its size, what size it should be. And we are given demand rate R equal to 20 units per month, setup cost equal to rupees 10, cost of item rupees 1 per item, holding cost C1 equal to 0 0.25 per item per month, shortage cost C2 equal to 1.25 per item per month and the optimum time interval between the orders. So, T O equal to square root of C1 plus C2 divided by C2 into 2 C3 by C1 into R. So, square root of 0.25 plus 1.25 divided by 1.25 into 2 into 10 divided by 0 0.25 uh, into 20 equal to 2.1 month. So, optimum time interval between the order T O equal to 2.19 month. And the optimum lot size equal to Q O equal to R into T O. So, 20 into 2.19 equal to 43.8 which is equal to 44 items. We take example number 8. A contractor undertakes to supply diesel engine to a truck manufacturing company at a rate of rupees, at a rate of 25 per day. He finds that the cost of holding a completed engine in the stock is rupees 16 per month and there is a clause in the contract penalizing him rupees 10 per engine per day. Uh, for for missing the delivery date. Production of the engine is in batches and each time a new batch is started, there is a setup cost of rupees 10,000. How frequently should batches be started and what should be the initial inventory, inventory level at the time of each batch is completed? The solution to the problem, demand rate R equal to 25 engines per day, setup cost is rupees 10,000. Holding cost C1 equal to 16 per month, which is 0 0.53 per day, and shortage cost C2 equal to 10 per engine per month, which is 0 0.33 per day. The optimum time interval between the orders T O equal to square root of C1 plus C2 divided by C2 into 2 C3 by C1 into R. So substituting 0 0.53 plus 0 0.33 divided by 0 0.33 into 2 into 10,000 divided by 0 0.53 into 25 equal to 62.7 days. And the optimum initial inventory level IMO equal to square root of C2 by C1 plus C2 into 2 C3 R by C1. So, substitute numerical values IMO equal to square root of 0 0.33 divided by 0 0.53 plus 0 0.33 into 2 into 10,000 into 25 divided by 0 0.53 equal to 602 engines. Example number 9, a certain product has demand of 500 units per month and the items were withdrawn uniformly. Each time a production run is made, the setup cost is rupees 150, the production cost is rupees 10 per item and the inventory carrying cost is rupees 10, 3 per item per month. Assuming shortages are not permitted, determine how often to make the production run and what size it should be. The shortage cost is rupees 15 per item per month. Determine how often to make the production run and what size it should be. So, we are given demand rate R equal to 500 units per month, setup cost equal to rupees 150, and the cost of the item rupees 10, holding cost C1 equal to rupees 3 per unit per month, and the shortage cost C2 equal to rupees 15 per unit per month. So, initially we take no shortages are permitted, the optimum time interval between the orders. T O equal to square root of 2 C 3 by C 1 R which is square root of 2 into 150 divided by 3 into 500 equal to 0 0.447 month. The optimum lot size equal to Q O equal to R into T O which is 500 into 0 0.447 equal to 223.5 which is equal to 224 units. If the shortages are permitted, so optimum time interval between the orders T O equal to square root of C 1 plus C 2 divided by C 2 into 2 C3 by C1 R, which is 3 plus 15 divided by 15 into 2 into 150 divided by 3 into 500 equal to 0 0.6 months. And the optimum lot size Q O equal to R into T O, which is 500 into 0 0.6 equal to 300 units. 
So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject and you may find the operation research book. You can refer to the book for additional information on the subject operation research and I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel, use the videos for your better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me uh, for any help in the subject through my mail ID or WhatsApp number. We will meet again with another video lecture in the inventory model. Until then, bye-bye.